that I've never caught in the surf, at least not on film, is I've never caught a California helmet. There we go. <laughs> Come on, halibut. There's one. There's a fish. Oh. Eat it, oh yeah, of course. Hmm. All right. Well, this probably looks like somewhat of a foreign place nowadays, with most of my videos being out in a kayak or on a boat, or whatever. But in fact, the surf is where. I pretty much learned how to fish. Fished here all the time as a kid, and then at the beginning, maybe two years of my channel, most of my videos were out here in the surf. Surf perch, striped bass, basically whatever I can catch out here in the surf. But one thing that I've never caught in the surf, at least not on film, is I've never caught a California halibut. I've caught hundreds, I think I've probably caught over a hundred halibut from my kayak or from a boat, but never got one from the surf, not on film at least. So that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do today. I've never really targeted them. I don't know why, I think mainly just because it's a lot easier to get them from a kayak. Um, but today I'm out here to hopefully complete a challenge that I've never done, which is catch halibut from the surf. So the plan today, I didn't bring very much. I just brought a few different baits. Basically just gonna throw a drop shot all day today. Um, and yeah, pack super light. Most of the gear I have in my backpack here is all camera gear. Um, so I'm just gonna cast, cast and walk. Basically get down the beach, try to find maybe a little spot where there's some halibut hanging out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop shot these little fluke style baits. I've also brought a little curly tail here, but I think I'm gonna start off with this one. Just like the color of this one, looks like a little anchovy. All right, so I got this little fluke thing here on a drop shot, and I only brought two weights with me today. I brought a two ounce and a three ounce. Let me see if I can find them here. There they are. Well, actually, you know what? These are both two ounce. Take it back. So we're gonna use a two ounce weight today. I was gonna say, anytime I have two different weights, I'm not sure which one to use. I tend to go with the lighter setup um, and then go up if I have to, but I like to start off with a little bit lighter. Let's get casting. There we go. Oh, it came off. Oh, dang. I don't know if that was a halibut or not, but something grabbed it. But if it is a halibut, it shouldn't have swam far likely it'll come back and hit it again if it is a hell of it. There we go. Oh yeah, that feels a little bit heavier. Maybe how of it? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Feels decent. Got some weight to it. Oh yeah, I think this is a hell of it. I think, I don't know, it feels good, whatever it is. This is literally the next cast after the last hit. Like I was saying, oh yeah, halibut. That's my first ever surf halibut, on film at least. There it is. First ever halibut on film, at least. Not a big one, probably about you know 18 inches or so. Definitely not big enough to keep. If you want to keep a California halibut here in California, the minimum size is 22 inches currently. So this one's not going to make the cut. Man, I hope they're good. First one, get the release. Time to send him off. There he goes. All right, so this is the setup. Very simple. We have our braid to our floral, you know, leader, I guess you could say. It's on a drop shot, so that means the weight is on the bottom. And they have this little fluke here. 
And so basically, once this is out in the water, it's gonna kind of trickle along the bottom like so. I try to flick it a little bit to give this guy a little bit of action. You can see the little tail there. Give that tail some action. And I think it's supposed to imitate a little anchovy. That's probably what these, an these halibut are out here feeding. If you can see, you'll probably see at some point in this video, if you can't tell already, the birds are kind of, not swarming, but they're cruising around here. You know, every once in a while they're diving and they're diving after little anchovies out here. And this particular spot right here, I pulled up to this spot because there was a little little gap in the school. Sometimes you can see where the anchovies are just based on the color of the water. So like the dark spots are where the anchovy schools are. And there's light spots mixed in. And sometimes the fish are right where the anchovies are. And sometimes I find they're right outside those anchovy schools. So I you just kind of pull up next to them. And uh, that's where that one hit. And usually where there's one halibut, there's more. There's another one right there, next cast. Right on cue. Literally next cast. Next cast, another little one there. Definitely not a keeper either. So these halibut are ambush predators, which means they just sit on the bottom, and then once they see something they like, they shoot off and get them. So let's see if we get it. Oh, okay, just like that. Oh, God. All right, well, that's two fish and two casts, and I'm pretty sure the cast before that I had a bite, so let's see if there's another one in there. Got salt and sand in my eyes from the last little swim off of that fish gave me. There's another one. Another one, next cast. We're in a honey hole here. Oh, you know what, this might not be a halibut. This might be something else. Yeah, wow, that's a huge smell. Look at how big that one is. These guys are also eating the anchovies, but they are less much less desired than the halibut definitely a lot of life here birds bait and the halibut are all right here god sand in my eye terrible oh god my eye All right, no fish on that cast, but oh my God. All right, birds, the birds. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That feels a little bit heavier, maybe. Pretty sure that's a halibut. This spot is loaded. That may be about the same size. Oh no, that's a little bit bigger. Still not keeper, but it's a little bit bigger. Oh my god, look at how fat that one is. Bulging. Hey, look at that one. Still not a keeper, but look how fat their belly is. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but it's bulging. I don't have a very big stomach, but there's gotta be like an inch over or two in there. Alright. Quick release. I don't want to get soaked this time. There we go, there's another one. That one feels good. Oh yeah. That one's a little bit nicer. 
Uh, about the same. So let's give it a quick measure. So just to give you guys an idea of the size we've been catching today, this is probably, they've all been pretty close, but this is probably the biggest one by a little bit. And that one is 20, 20 and a half. So it's definitely not a keeper. But all have been really nice, somewhere between 16 and 20. It's ready to go. So camouflage. One wave and he's gone. Well, we found a nice little group here. Like I was saying at the beginning, even though the halibut aren't schooling fish, they definitely group up together, especially when they're smaller like these ones are. And just because we've caught four shakers doesn't mean the next one might not be, you know, it could be a 30 incher, who knows? Sometimes the big ones, sometimes the big ones also hang out with the little ones. So we'll find out here. There's one. There's a fish. Oh, this one's got some fight. Maybe this is a keeper. The first one that really pulled some drag. Come on, halibut. Yeah, this, this one's got to be bigger. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's still there. Sure. He's running at me for a second. I got a feeling he's got one more run in him. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. That's got to be a keeper. There he goes. Yeah, that's a keeper. That's a keeper all day. All day keeper. Yeah, that's a keeper. keeper. Yeah. That is a keeper right there. Look at that one. Barely got him, too. Right on the tip. Comes right out. Guaranteed a keeper. I want to say it's like 27, 28. Maybe even pushing 30. I don't know. Yeah, 20, 28, 27 and a half, 28, something like that. Not bad for the shore, at least, especially. The legal limit on these halibut is 22 inches minimum size and three per person per day. So we can catch two more if we can. And the bite's so hot right now, I'm not so sure we might not catch another couple here. So let's get back in and see if we can get more. There we go, there's a the fish. Oh, I just pulled off. Dang it. I poked that one. That one's probably not going to come back. Oh, I just saw how to jump right there. I saw the whole tail come out of the water. Guaranteed halibut. All the brown and everything. Okay, let's run over there. I'll make a cast right there. I bet you that fish will bite. There we go. There's one. Let's see how big this one is. I'm not really sure. Never really went on a run like the big one did, but yeah, another another shaker. Get this hook out. There we go. Look at him. Look at those fins just pulsating. Not happy. We'll get him back. And quick release. 
Don't splash me. Oh yeah, that feels like a heavy one. That feels like a heavy one. Definitely a flatty. Those head shakes. Head shake, head shake, head shake. This one feels heavy. Feeling like that keeper did, other than the runs. Maybe this is that one that I saw jump. Anytime you're fighting fish in the surf, you never want to pull them against the wave. You want to use the waves to your advantage. So when the wave goes down, let that fish go down. And then when that wave pushes up, that's definitely a keeper. We'll wait for the wave to push it up. But yeah, once it's in that shallow area, you never want to be pulling it back when the wave is pushing it back. Oh, came off. No, no, no. All right, keeper number two. All right, let's give him a quick measure before we take care of him. Pretty sure he's 22, but that'll be 100% sure. Oh, yeah. 23, 23 incher. Bonk him, bleed him, and then we're going for the limit. Can't believe I'm saying that. I was not expecting that today. So all I'm doing here is just casting out and then giving it like a slow retrieve with little twitches here and there. Try to give that bait a little bit of action. Halibut are, are somewhat lazy, I think. I think more times than not, they're looking for a nice, easy meal. They're not necessarily looking for something that's just going kind of shooting across, in my opinion. I mean, not to say that they won't hit it, but I think in general, they're looking for something easy, something that's going to just, boom, one swoop, done. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to imitate here. Yeah, you can see I'm just kind of giving my rod tip a little bit of a little bit of action there. Just trying to get that little fluke to just kind of flicker up and down. Oh, there was a little bite. Oh. I think I'm putting halibut just hit it. Oh, another one. And a lot of times if they hit it, sometimes you'll feel it hit it. And then it it lets loose and he comes back. Oh, I think I missed one there. I think I missed one. There we go. Oh, that might be a that might be a bigger one. That one slammed it. Slammed it at the beginning and then maybe he just hit it going the opposite direction so he felt big. Yeah, it's not even that big. I think when he hit it, he was just going off the other direction. All right. Kind of lost count how many, but I think we're over... We got at least six or seven, probably eight or nine, I would guess. Nice little taker. Hopefully we catch him again next season. As you can see the birds are all working right in close here, pushing bait up against the surf. You gotta believe the halibut are right underneath them doing the same thing. All this action right here. This is why there's so many fish in here right now. There we go, there's a fish. Maybe a shorty, maybe a keeper. I'm not quite sure. Oh, maybe. 
Maybe, Keeper, maybe. Let's measure him. You can see how well they are camouflaging the sand there. If I didn't tell you there was a halibut there, you might not have even seen it. Here, let's get this hook out. All right, the hook is out. Now is the moment of truth. Do we have a halibut limit from the shore? All right, mouth closed. Right on the tip. Oh yeah, limit, 22 and a half. Head on the zero, tail. Yep, 22, 22 and a half. That's a limit. Well, I set out here today to try and come out and catch my first keeper halibut, or really my first any halibut from shore, and I did that, but I really exceeded expectations, and man, I caught my first ever limit halibut from shore. It might even be the first ever halibut limit from shore on YouTube. I don't know. I'll check it out when I get home, but anyways, needless to say, it was a, it was a successful day out here. All of them, all of my fish, I think I caught over 10, maybe close to a dozen if you count all the shakers, um, but all of them came on the drop shot today. Two ounce weight on the bottom. We'll fluke sal bait about a foot off the bottom, just jigging it back here from shore, and man, it lights out. The bait was in, which is why those halibut were coming in so close today. It's not often that you can get halibut from shore, especially in the Bay Area, on the ocean side of things, um, but today the bait was pushed in super close to shore, and that's why those halibut weren't far behind. But anyways, you never know what you might get out here in the surf. Perch, striper, and now halibut are on my list. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know why I waited so long to do this, but maybe I'll come back out here and do it again. We'll see you guys on the next one.